day. First win in the Premier League for 23 years. Tyro on you scuffing it in. Absolute seat. Has to be a goal from Hudson. Yes! There we go! In the middle of a really, really tough patch of fixtures, our first win of 2024. So I think it's pretty safe to say that we make a memorable day out of West Ham at home. And if we win, then we could mathematically go third in the Premier League. With all that said and done, I'll see you there. Oh, yeah! Finally, we're in Nottingham. It's been uh, not a pretty journey. There were massive delays on the M5. So we've been out for about four hours. It's 25 past two at the minute. So we're running really quite late. The lineup to me looks really, really strong. We've got that first choice back four. The only change is Morgan Gibbs White, who's, thank God he's fit, coming in for Elliot Anderson. I feel like whoever Morgan Gibbs White was going to replace would be a bit hard done by because everyone's played brilliantly but it is what it is and he's a brilliant player so glad to see him back in the squad today Pretty much the first like, massive chance of the game and we've taken it. Chris Wood, that man is on fire, absolutely on fire. The atmosphere has been fantastic. I've not seen the city ground like this this season. I believe unless, unless Brighton are winning right now, that would mean that we see the third or fourth in the Premier League table. Come on! We're coming for you, Manchester City! We're coming for you! Great, 37 minutes gone. Um, you see, last 10 minutes or so, everything since the goal, it's been absolutely all for us. This atmosphere is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant.
Brighton are currently beating Liverpool. Can't do anything right, can we? Need Liverpool to sort that one out ASAP. First half, I thought we'd been fantastic. One nil at half time is brilliant. Christmas on fire. Now West Ham really haven't offered very much. It's going to be interesting to see how we cope in the second half because it looks like we're all in gear to win. But you never know what can happen. One nil up against ten men at home. We need to see this through. We'll be top four by the end of the day. Fingers crossed for Liverpool to come through. Everything will be first. That will be crazy. And then if we beat Newcastle, then we'd be ahead of Arsenal going to our end of the day. Come on, you Red. Come on, you Red. Conceded. When's that from? Last minute. Oh yes. We're getting news from Anfield that Brighton are no longer ahead. That puts us third. Yes, you heard it right. That's third in the Premier League. I don't know what's going on either. Come on. Now you're gonna believe us. Now you're gonna believe us. We're gonna win the league. Manchester City. We're coming for you.
I'll tell you what you were saying the other day, Dad. You said at some point we will thrash a team with this. Absolutely miles off. Performances that we've had since um, since coming since coming back up. Honestly, that was a complete and utter domination. Obviously, West Ham down to ten for the second half, but still, even in the first half, they never really looked like scoring. My God, what a sight! What a sight, eh? And in the end as well, Liverpool did beat Brighton. Uh, Man City got beat as well, which is mental. It'll be interesting to see how uh, Chelsea and Villa get on, to see whether or not we stay in the Champions League places. But we are in, at the minute, third right now, which is so mental. Imagine, imagine telling us that this time last year. 
So I mean, what were we doing last year? This time, we were. We'd, we'd probably just lost. Chris, where they get away? We're with David after the game. It's a little bit dark. Yeah. Just give me your thoughts. What did you make of that? You know, I've kind of lost the words, honestly. It's just so yeah. such a quality <laughs> performance from us from start to finish. Just the whole team, just you know, even when it was a little bit flat in the game, just yeah, had yeah, under yeah. control. Absolutely. You know, all three goals were really well taken. It could have easily been four or five. Genuinely. Yeah, well, I mean, Yates, they took ages to do that one, didn't I know, they? Yeah. Yates go. I don't know why. I don't know why, because they showed it on the, re the on the screen and it looked absolutely miles off. I know. Which yeah, was, it, it's like they took like two minutes. Yeah. Like, yeah. What's yeah, the it, point? It's everything, you know. Even the subs came on, did their bit. I mean, Sosa really got one at the end. Yeah, they were two world class saves from Fabianski, weren't they? Yeah. Oh but, man. Know, make what you want about our West Ham, or they, they were you know, pretty awful, but. Mm. We had to turn up as well, and we certainly did that. And, and do you yeah. know where we are in the Premier League now? Third place. We're third. Yeah. And do you know what that means? That means that if we beat Newcastle at this place next week, then we will go into our league game against Arsenal above them in the table. How absolutely clinically insane is that? How mental is that? I'm I can't get over that. That's the real fight. Check it. I remember when you and me were talking in the championship and we were just going nowhere and now we're here in the top four of the well, Premier League, albeit only, right only just now. Well, I mean, so if, well I mean if Chelsea and Villa win tomorrow then um, then we'll be out of the top yeah. four but I'm, I don't care to I'll be honest, Europa, I don't care, I'll take your Europa League, what are we doing, we're on the wrong side of the world, it's like that, that polar bear meme, bro is on the wrong side of the world. <laughs> Yes, what is. are we doing up here? What a day, what a day. That's, I, I, you know, I've got to say, that's going to be up there for for games, like full stop in the in the Premier League since coming up. It's probably, I was saying earlier, actually. That's one of the best for me. Yeah, I think that's probably the most dominant I've seen this player at home in the Premier League. Absolutely dominated. Start to finish. When was the last time we scored three goals at home? I think Fulham last season, but Fulham and Southampton. I think is yeah. that the only times that we've done it. I'm pretty I sure so. it is. I think so. But th that was like start to finish. We were miles clear of the opposition. Just, we were started. I feel like in the in the Fulham game, it started to fall a little bit towards the end. But yeah. this time there was there was no taking. I thought off the gas. I think no. West Ham they might have had what two shots. All Absolutely crap, nothing. We deserved yeah. that clean sheet. Yeah. Match ourselves in my FPL. Can we talk about Ola Aina, by the way? And what a steal. What a, what a steal! Zero pounds, yeah. zero pounds for Olaina. Absolutely better. mental. That yeah. back, that back like that entire back line, every one of them, absolutely outstanding today. Cost I think twenty five million between them, and wow. Wow. that's an insane stat. Yeah. You're getting you're getting plenty of players who are going for more than that on their own. Yeah, Milenkovic yeah. is looking like one of the signings of the season in terms of the Premier League. Full stop. Not just us. The way we're playing, I think if we can just sustain a high level, then you know we should be on for a very, very special season. Hopefully, I mean, it, you know, is it realistic to maintain where we are? Probably not. But if we can just stay like See, I'd, top I'd, ten, I'd, I'll be delighted. I'd still team. bite your hand off for tenth place. Absolutely, I'd still bite your hand off for tenth place. That's yeah. the funniest thing. We're in the league. We're, we're third in the league right now. Yeah. We mathematically can't be outside of Europe by the end of this game week. And yeah. I would absolutely, I would absolutely bite your arm off for tenth, tenth place. Yeah, me too. Me what too. a day! What a day! Tifo as well. Tifo three 0 Job done. What a day! What Maybe. a day this is going to be. Sub to sub to David. Yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty good. Um, sub to Bray as well. Yeah, you know it. You Reds. You Reds. Three, two, one. You Reds. What a day! What an absolutely sensational game. I'm, I'm still, I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. Buzzy doesn't even begin to describe it, actually. I'm absolutely over the moon. What a performance. Getting your team, seeing your team do the business like that. There's just nothing like it. Six right after it, being in the Bridgeford, it was singing absolutely all game. It was fantastic. I'm in the Bridgeford next week against Newcastle. Bonkers. This is ludicrous. We're living in another world and I don't want to go back. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like seeing content like this. Go and look at some of my other vlogs as well. Um, I've got vlogs for the other two times we've beat West Ham since we've been up. Um, I've got vlogs for all the rest of the season, home games. Just whatever you like, if you're a Forest fan, then come and subscribe. It's 
you know otherwise otherwise you're missing out remember to ingest cheese everyone good night you reds